Okay, in this video I'll show you how to successfully connect um, with HyperTerminal to the FCI or Fire Control Instruments 7100 series panel. It'll work on both the 1D and 2D. Um, so basically, HyperTerminal is a pretty awesome program. It only comes on Windows XP and later. So if you don't have it or if you're running Windows 7 or 8, your computer's not going to come with it. So if you want it, feel free to join my Facebook group. I'll put a link in the description of this video. And once you're in, just message me and I'll send you over the file so you can have it. Um, so basically, once you do have HyperTerminal installed on your Windows laptop, just simply double click to open it up. It's going to ask you to give this connection a new name, so we'll just call this one FCI 7100. Like I said, it works on the 1D and 2D, so there's no reason to differentiate between the two. So we'll just leave it at FCI 7100. Click OK. Select the COM port that we're going to connect to the panel with. We'll just leave it as COM1 for this example. Hit OK. And then once you get into the port settings, the bits per second is going to be 9600. Data bits will stay at 8. Parity will stay at none. Stop bits will stay at 1 and flow control will change from hardware to none. Once that's done, apply and hit OK. If you successfully entered those settings into the laptop and you're connected with the programming cable to the 7100, you should be able to just press the enter key in your keyboard here and this section here will display or will mimic the display of the 7100. Now, with this particular panel, if there is an issue with connection, there is another uh, setting you can try. And basically, if you go to your control panel on your laptop, um, it'll open up a screen like this. Once you're underneath hardware and sound, go to device manager and go to the ports right here. Drop it down and COM1, you'll see here. Just right click on it, go to properties, go to the port settings tab up here and you'll see all the settings we entered are the same right here we're going to go to advanced and right here check this box which already should be checked and we're going to change this top one the receive buffer to 8 let's just drag it over to 8 and we're going to move the transmit buffer to 11 let's move this one over to 11 here and this is something the factory recommends if you are, are having issues with the um, communication for some reason, if you can't get it to link up. So put those settings in there, click OK, OK, and get out of here. And try to hit um, Enter again uh, once you're in this screen, and you should be successful. I've had to do that a couple times, and it actually works pretty good. So once again, HyperTerminal is a great program to use if you want to pull the loops off and uh, capture all the information that comes off the panel onto here. Remember, you can always go to Transfer and Capture Text and save everything that you've uh, captured here to a text file on your desktop so you can email it or print it at a later date. All right, be sure to uh, subscribe to our channel and check out our Facebook group. Links in the description and check out our other videos regarding hyperterminal and other fire alarm related topics.